All right, I'm here today to talk about Astrograph Sorcerer and why it may be limited versus Chronograph Sorcerer. I haven't done any formal research, but we're going to test a hand with Astrograph Sorcerer like we did in that other video. Chronograph Sorcerer and Joker, except we're going to start Astrograph Sorcerer and the Raccoon, the Magispector Raccoon Boonbuki. These two cards are going to act just like the starters, the one card chrono. Which, I mean, if you want to be technical about it, chrono is not like by himself he can't make a whole entire board but him and just about any other pendulum can and then you make a joker and that adds a plus one to it but we're going to test with five cards in the hand two of them astrograph sorcerer and raccoon Now the reason I would believe that Chronograph Sorcerer would be better is because it can get Time Gazer, the level 3, and get you into level 7s, uh, level 11s, even level 10s. Two level 3s and a level 4 get you to some level 10 plays, which we've seen that with the Nirvana High Paladin combo. Now. That and chronograph special summoning is pretty solid, but you know, chronograph and astrograph nearly have the same effect. The only difference is this one in scale would special summon or scale stargazer. Now, stargazer, I've never liked stargazer as much as I've liked time gazer because it's a level five and Time Gazer was a level 3, and it just seems like it's easier to get to level 7s, level 10s, and stuff like that of a level 3. So, Stargazer and Astrograph have really sat back for a while for me, but I found an interesting card, a level 9 Wind Attribute Beast Type Synchro Monster. That level 9 monster is Stellar Wind Wolf Riot. And it has an interesting effect. Much like Nibiru, it waits for your opponent to activate five or five monster effects. However, it's anyone who activates monster effects too. So you could set it up on your own turn. It gains attack. For every monster effect that's activated, it gains 300 attack. When it gets up to 4,000 attack, it can shuffle itself and all monsters your opponent controls as a quick effect back into the deck. Which having a board wipe shuffle like that is a really powerful effect. Seeing as most decks nowadays, like Snake Eyes, will play through the graveyard. You can't just Nibiru them, it is not enough. But board shuffling them, that could put a real hindering on them. Depending on when you time that shuffle, devastating. <coughs> so, in that aspect, that gives more respect on the name of Astrograph and Stargazer, just being able to get to that synchro. But I know there are other things, because of its monster effect, when a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this and then choose one monster in the graveyard extra deck or that is banished and that was destroyed this turn and add one monster with the same name from your deck to your hand. <coughs> now, I could see where you could get away with a little bit of spiciness with that, like you pop your purple poison, get to pop 
something your opponent controls, add another purple poison back to hand, could scale it and, and do it again. But is it broken enough for the card to be limited? I don't think so. Like, you could Black Fang, you could pop the Black Fang, half somebody's attack, get a Spellcaster from the graveyard, and then add another Black Fang to hand while special summoning this to the field. But I don't feel like that's really broken. I don't feel like that's crazy broken for Pendulums, or like any deck really. So I don't see why Sorcerer would be limited. But. Being able to make that board shuffle monster is pretty solid. I ordered it. It'll be here. It's just not here yet. So we'll just have to play with the idea for now. So let's get a cut of the deck. We've already shuffled. We've cut. And we draw three. Ghost Ogre. Not a bad card to have. Jackal. Hmm. An Inspector Border. Ooh. Okay. This is an interesting hand. To say the least. Because normally hard drawing Jackal is a bit of a brick. In this case, we can normal summon him. But then we open the border as well, which changes things. Because if we want to just set up border for the first turn, we could do that. As soon as the opponent makes uh, a synchro monster, they activate their effect, they get ghost ogred. So you would be able to respond to that. Or we make our Jackal King maybe scale something a little extra and get one scale counter on Jackal King. Just have a negation and a ghost ogre. So we have one negation, one pop. Or just control pop. I think I'd rather have control pop and just keep Jackal King. Hmm. In this case, there is something else we could do. If we wanted to forego the Ghost Ogre, waiting the Ghost Ogre out, we can make our level 8, because Stargazer, Normal Summon, Ghost Ogre, make a level 8. But, our level 8 is probably just going to be Draco. Yeah, in this case, only level 8 play would be Draco, or we try to make Beyond the Pendulum. We don't have enough scales for that. And we'd be setting on a perfectly good border. Hmm. I mean, there's alternative things we could do. But they're not exactly ideal either, are they? combo was really to see how far these two cards could take us. But we opened Border, which just feels like it changes things for me. Because, like, say they destroy Border, Astrograph, Special Summon, add Border. Interesting, huh? Because this has no restrictions in that case. That may be why it's limited. <laughs> Probably, most case. It's, it has to be that effect, but there's definitely something that was used with it. Now, adding Inspector Border back to Border Lock them twice would be interesting. The other would be Normal Summon, Kieran. Scale, Stargazer. Then we'd have. And we can make Jackal King. Or we'll make Beyond the Pendulum, add our other scale, scale up and Pendulum summon Jackal King. Maybe end on Appaloosa, Jackal King, Ghost Ogre. Now, as many as, neg as many negates as that is, that uses a lot of cards in our hand as a long string combo that could be stopped intermittently with any number of hand traps. Whereas, 
I'm thinking it's easier, probably, at this point. Scale pop, stargazer, and then we kind of just be stuck there with the extra stargazer on the field for no reason. But yeah, I'd say we wait it out. And like, go to the opponent's turn. I don't know what they're going to be doing, but say we use our ghost over to stop at least half or something what they're doing. Maybe they attack through border and do some main phase two stuff. In that case, we special summon Astrograph. Add, add another border. Controlled their turn, messed them up a little bit with the ogre. They had to go battle phase, foregoing our main phase one, blow through border. Then Astrograph comes out, 2500 attack, level seven, brings another border to the hand. Do they have enough to get past Astrograph as well? I don't know. I'd say probably not. So we draw wisdom on it. Hmm. Well, we have to normal summon a raccoon in this case. So we can add... Majesty Pegasus, the new card we just put in. Majesty Pegasus, the Draco Slayer. of a case here and we cannot pass the turn at this point we would have to absolutely have to go into beyond the pendulum beyond the pendulum using these two make our beyond the pendulum and then beyond the pendulum's effect
Yeah. I was thinking a couple of different things, but... We're going to have to go into Oath Dragon here. Search Oath Dragon off of Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum. As fortunate as unfortunate as it is we can't activate wisdom eye right now because of beyond the pendulum so and we can't summon any higher than level four we've got inspector border jackal king and majesty pegasus the draco slayer in our hand the only thing we can summon from the hand would be the draco slayer and then the only thing we can summon from the extra deck would be the raccoon. This is. I already used his his effect this turn, right? Yeah. Because we added that guy. So now we. Is that a hard one to put on? So, Majesty Pegasus effect. It's going to allow us to add Secret Village to our hand and discard a card. Secret Village. Discarding Border. Effect. Pop. Could do Black Fang depending on what the opponent has over there. They have something big, nasty. Could do Double Iris. Could do some extra battle damage. Double any battle damage. Tried and true. Celestial. Activate Secret Village. Actually, 
a better play here would be hold off on activating the secret village got our scales up Oath Dragon to add Wisdom Eye back. And we'll make Exceed the Pendulum. Up pendulum from our thing. Probably add astrograph because we want to be able to activate its effect again whenever something is destroyed. Now, what we can do here is really spicy exceed the pendulum's effect, special summon the jackal king. Then activate the secret village. Jackal King gets counters, so we have live negation. Live negation, spell lock with three spellcasters. to have three negates still secret village lock but then just having one spellcaster is a little on the weak side I don't really like doing that I think ending on this hand right here wouldn't be too bad still got astrograph protection wisdom eye if they blow up either one of our scales now we've got Secret Village Lock, some negations on the board. Let's see, let's do a random cut, figure out what an extra all would be. Duelist Alliance, nice. I think we'd be doing all right. And that was for a pretty weird starting hand too, to be honest. these two cards in hand again. Raccoon and Astrograph Sorcerer. Now I know Astrograph Sorcerer and the Raccoon can pop off by themselves, but they really had to help out those three other cards for us to even get the board that we got. Of course, to begin with, it, it was really just Inspector Border and Ghost Ogre holding their stand before we switched over into the pendulum stuff. Granted, could we have made a better board if that border had been another pendulum monster? Maybe. But who can say the opponent would have even been able to beat the border? Border and Ghost Hunter, that's pretty good.
Draw one. Ooh. Majesty Draco Slayer. Draw two. Ooh. Oddass Revolution Dragon. And Border again, interestingly enough. Hmm. Go ahead and discard this to add Dark One. Let's get that started. I'm trying to avoid the border for now. And no way to discard the Dark One. Should normal summon it, but that's a normal summon. Raccoon. Could special summon the raccoon though later and later in the combo. So that's not too really not too worried about that. Let's see how far we can make it with just opening border anyway. Just straight up open border. Now Scale Astrograph, Pop Astrograph, Special Stargazer. Now here's how we're gonna get spicy. I really wanted to play around with Astrograph and see why it would be a better card than Chrono. And I'm starting to understand why. Let's just play around with this theory though. Stargazer. So, it's a normal summon, a special summon. But we're not done. Yet. The funny part here is, if we just pen summoned early and made Beyond the Pendulum after the Pendulum summon, we still get Beyond the Pendulum's effect and it wouldn't matter because Border would also continue to lock us out. Uh, that would be an interesting play if we wanted to take it that route. Effect monsters, including a pendulum monster. <laughs> so we could just trade off border, make beyond the pendulum, beyond the pendulum, add harmonizing. So we're gonna scale our dark worm at this point. It's about to be the next play I'm gonna make. Because there was the thing. I mean, I could scale Pegasus, right, then scale this guy, pop, well, use his effect to search Kieran and pop this guy, but then we have level 2 Kieran, I mean, I guess then we could still scale the Dark Run, but we'd lose out on the Zero Gate, and not be able to special summon the Kieran anyway, so we're not going to go that route. I'm going to scale Dark Worm, use its effect. Scale Supreme King Zero Gate. Gate Zero. Now, if we wanted to, we could pin summon early, but it would only be these two. They wouldn't get their effects. Then we could be on the pendulum and add one card.
But it would be too late to add much that would matter at that point. Maybe add Astrograph and hope. Just hope that you could hold on with Border beyond the Pendulum. Maybe Stargazer's still up there. I don't know. Whatever card you added. Well, let's talk about adding Astro. No. Let's, let's play with that idea that we can just make Beyond the Pendulum with Border. Keeps the deck pretty versatile. I like that. Stargazer goes over here, border over there, beyond the pendulum's effect. I would add harmonizing at this point. Now we can get ready to pendulum something. Although, because of the way we've went, we can't summon either one of these. Zero and five. Mm. We're only stuck with what's in hand. So. I believe this is how we can do this. Pen summon. Pen summon. Pen summon. When this card is summoned. So it has to be chain one, right? Chain one, the raccoon. I'm not sure if this would miss timing or not. I'll have to look into it later. If chain one. Chain two, chain three. Harmonizing specials white wing. thinking, which would be keep this guy in our hand. We're just going to have to forego him for now, trade him off for Secret Village. He's winning. We'll get Harmonizing, gets White Wing, and Draco Slayer. Allow us to add Secret Village and discard one card. So we'll end up discarding the Mamuki. to special summon Mbuki from the graveyard. And 
Loki special summoned, we can add Kira. So we did end up being able to go through with the combo the right way. Just kept it in hand and it still came to the field. Perfect. I didn't activate exceed the pendulum's effect when it's hold on before we do that I made exceed the pendulum using this guy so we have to activate its effect add astrograph back to our hand then we special summon Bunbuki and add Kirin to our hand The safest thing to do here would be make tape here using these two. And then activate our secret village. Secret Village Lock with tape here. Exceed the pendulum at 2100. It's not bad. Buki can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So he's sitting in defense, making sure Secret Village is staying up no matter what. Well, that buys us another turn. Seems to me. Draw. Ghost Ogre. Thank you. 
let's say normal salmon, pendulum salmon. Secret Village to discard because I don't want to discard either Astaroth or Ghost Ogre. Mumbuki doesn't have a target anymore because we got our three Magic Specters Mumbuki, Kirin, and the Draco Slayer. It's pretty solid. Kieran would automatically go to defense because of Tapir. Would have one of these guys. Already go to the graveyard. Exceed the pendulum's effect would allow me to touch on the harmonizing from the graveyard. I make a link. We could do. We could do that. another turn with Secret Village and Tapir Lock. Comes back to us. Draw Time Break. Tapir. Draw White Wing. Change it to Attack Position. Five negate Appaloosa after Tapir is done board negating. the pendulum's effect. Special summon, white wing. We haven't normal pendulum nothing yet this turn. So, take a look. Use us a couple of options here.
I wonder what one of in this case. I guess we can almost have a minute. Put him over here. Keep the secret village lock going. Maybe we have to ghost over our opponent. I've already used Exceed the Pendulum Effect this turn. Got a 5 to negate Appaloosa and Secret Village Lock. I think we'll buy ourselves another turn. Wait, wait, hold on. Do we have Pendulum Summon? No. There's normal summon. Why do we have Pendulum Summon? After all that. Hold on. And does it have to be to his own discard points too, first of all? No, it doesn't. So I would not have put him there. That way we can have two zones. Two zones. I have to be for these two. Psychic and Punisher right here. This would be banished. These two go back over here. We'll make our Psychic and Punisher. Unaffected. Can pay life points to banish monsters. Gains attack during the battle phase. We'd most definitely kill the opponent during the battle phase here. But even if we didn't, say we're having a nice back and forth battle. They're going to be most all of their monster packs are not going to be happening. Still spell lot. We've got our trusty, rusty Astrograph Sorcerer chilling in our hand. For all of our Magic Spectres in the extra deck and Time Breaker. Draw for turn. Wisdom Eye. Not bad, not bad. You can see where this is going. But this is what happens when you get Dark Worm and Scale with Zero Gated. It just kind of sticks there indefinitely unless your opponent decides to blow them up. That was an interesting number of test hands though. Both of them came out decently well and both of them opened with Inspector Border. I think that's all we need for now.